Welcome back. It's still morning rush on Metro Television with me, Nanaya Tanobach. We are live on DSTV channel 277, live on Facebook, and YouTube is Metro TV. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Metro TV underscore GH. This morning, um, we are talking about child cancer, and we have Wendy Aya Mensa, and she is a pediatric oncology nurse at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, and she's here to help with the conversation. Wendy, good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Morning Rush. Thank you. It's good to have you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so the conversation will be centered on child cancer. Yes. But then um, each year there's an estimated number of kids that um, uh, have child cancer. In Ghana currently, what is the statistics on the ground? Okay. So um, first of all, I would like to say a good morning to mm -hmm. all our viewers mm -hmm. and thank you for having me. Um, so... Um, September is Childhood Cancer Month. Mm -hmm. It's a month set aside to um, create awareness mm -hmm. um, for children with cancer. Mm -hmm. So start looking at it, in 2019, mm -hmm. data from Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Konfanoche, and other shared care centers. Mm -hmm. So we have 326 new cases okay. in that year. Okay. In 2020, we had 420 new cases. Mm -hmm. 2021, we had 458. Coming to 2023, mm -hmm. within January to June, mm -hmm. we have 223, and the, the year hasn't has ended. It ended. Yes. Yeah, that's so a lot. That, that's the number of new cases we get mm -hmm. in the main two um, teaching hospitals. Hospitals, yes. okay. What is causing that? So, um, the cause of um, cancer is yeah. not known. Mm -hmm but there are predisposing factors mm -hmm. that can lead to childhood cancers. Mm -hmm. So one is um, exposure to x-rays, mm -hmm. like um, prolonged exposure to x-rays mm -hmm. can cause childhood cancers. Mm -hmm. And also environmental factors like pesticides, mm -hmm. weedy sites and other things mm -hmm. can also cause cancers. And also some viruses like the Epstein-Barr virus mm -hmm. and prolonged exposure to uh, malaria. Mm -hmm untreated malaria, every time your child is having malaria mm -hmm. infection, mm -hmm. can predispose you to getting cancer. Some cancers too are hereditary, like the eye cancer, okay. for example. Okay. So with childhood cancers, we have different types of cancers. Mm -hmm. So we have the eye cancer, mm -hmm. which is called rectinoblastoma, mm -hmm. the cancer of the blood, which is leukemia. Mm -hmm. We have cancers of the bones. Mm -hmm. Um, which is called um, osteosarcoma, mm -hmm. cancers that can be found on the kidney, which is womb tumor. And um, cancers, when, when, when someone is talking about cancer, one will ask, what is cancer? Mm -hmm. So it's just the abnormal growth of cells. Okay. Yes, the okay. rapid growth mm -hmm. of cells. You know in our body, cells do grow every time, but yeah. then when these cells are uncontrollable, yes, yeah. growing, it causes cancer. Mm -hmm. So cancer can happen at, uh, can, can occur at any part of the body. Okay. Yes, okay. in the stomach, okay. in the lump, on the, on the, in the stomach, mm -hmm. on the neck, mm -hmm. anywhere in the eye. The eye. Yes, so that's um, what cancer is. Yeah. But, but in Ghana, which one is very common among children? Yes, so among children, the commonest one we have are um, leukemias, mm -hmm. that's the blood cancer, mm -hmm. retinoblastoma, the cancer of the eye, mm -hmm. um, um, a neuroblastoma mm -hmm. and osteosarcoma. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. those are the um, common, common cancers, ones in yes. Ghana. Yes. And these ones, you, you, you earlier on you mentioned um, the X-rays, some of the things that actually causes these. Ones. Is it when the child is in the mother's womb, mm -hmm. or when the child has been born? That is when he or she gets the cancer. So as I said, the cause is not known, mm -hmm. but then these are things that can predispose you mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be anyways, anyways. Yes, okay. when the child is in or mm -hmm. when the child is exposed to mm -hmm. Um, exposure exposed to radiations mm -hmm. or pesticides so one must say one can say that a child is now growing how can a child get cancer mm -hmm. it's unlike adult cancers you know when a, um, an, adult, an adult smokes mm -hmm. it predisposes the child the adults to lung cancers yeah. but the child is now growing how yeah. did the child get yeah. cancers yes yeah. so these are predisposing factors mm -hmm. that can lead to cancers mm -hmm. yes the common ones that you mentioned are really common in Ghana. Yes. The leukemia and... Leukemia, mm -hmm. Wilms tumor, mm -hmm. lim um, Beckett's lymphomas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. What are the signs and symptoms of each of them? Let, let's take it one by one. Okay. So um, we have a collective signs and symptoms that 
we do educate people on. Mm -hmm. It's an acronym called SILWIN. Mm -hmm. S-I-L-U-A-N. Okay. So with the S means that um, you need to seek early medical treatment mm -hmm. or appointment when you see uncontrollable or unexplained signs mm -hmm. or symptoms in your child. Mm -hmm. And with the I, although it's an alphabet I, it stands for I as in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So when you see any whitish spot, whitish spot mm -hmm. in the child's eye, yeah, it should prompt you or it, sh it could be an indication mm -hmm. of your child having cancers. Yeah. Also, when there's um, a bulge, your child's eye is bulging out. Mm -hmm. It's um, a predisposing factor or it's a sign mm -hmm. of um, cancer. It could be a sign of cancer. And also, when there are any lumps or swelling in any part of your body, it's also, it could be cancer. Maybe there are lumps in your neck, mm -hmm. in your stomach. You know your child better. Yeah. So when you are with your child, bathing your child or anything, and you see any lump in any part of the body, the body. it's a sign for you to be alert mm -hmm. that it could be or it could be cancer. And also, when there are unexplained um, fevers. Okay. Fevers for a long time. Mm -hmm. Persistent fevers which goes and comes. It could be or it may be a sign of cancer. Mm -hmm. Unexplained um, loss of weight. Unexplained fever. Unexplained um, vomiting. Mm -hmm. Anything which is unexplainable. Okay. It could be a sign of cancer. Now A. A brings us to aching. Your child complains of aching bones, aching joints. You know kids always play around and I mean they get those complaints yeah. once in a while. But then if your child complains to you and this is too frequent, mm -hmm. you should, as a parent or as a guardian, yeah. you should be able to um, be alert that mm -hmm. it could be a sign of cancer. And the N starts for neurological disorders. Any signs such as your child wakes up and complains of headache mm -hmm. or any vomiting as soon as the child wakes up in the morning. Okay. Yes, on a spleen, on steady gait. Mm -hmm. Your child is walking in a straight line or is walking, but then you see that it's not steady, moving left and right. right yes, yeah. that could be a neurological um, sign that your child has cancer. With all these signs and symptoms, it, it, would you say it's advisable sometimes to bring the child to the hospital to be diagnosed properly? Or with all these signs and symptoms, you can just sit and just conclude that your child has cancer. No. Um, so with all these signs and symptoms, it could be that it may be cancer. Mm -hmm. We are not saying they are cancers. Okay. They are signs of cancer. Mm -hmm. it, it may be cancer signs. So um, just bring your child to the hospital to be diagnosed. Okay. And when it comes to the diagnosis, we have um, investigations that mm -hmm. we use or we we take a child through. For example, we have blood tests. Okay. And we have um, certain scans mm -hmm. that can be um, indicates, mm -hmm. that indicates that your child had cancers. And also, um, there are, um, when there's a lump, we take some parts of the lump mm -hmm. to test, to see if that lump that you found in the child mm -hmm. is cancerous. So upon seeing that signs, it's advisable to bring your child to the hospital mm -hmm. just to test by doing these diagnoses um, and these investigations to bring us to a conclusion. Okay. Yes. Before we talk about the, the, the major treatment in Ghana for that, the lamp, you said you take a part of it. Yes. How, how do you take a part of it? Because it's, it's, in the, it's, in the, it's in the body, it's in the skin. How yes. do you take a part of it? So this procedure is called biopsy. Mm -hmm. It's a procedure done um, in a sterile environment. Okay. So um, for a child, we, we go through that process prepare the child, mm -hmm. then go and numb the area mm -hmm. and take that um, part mm -hmm. or that's a tissue, mm -hmm. not the whole lump, but just a tissue mm -hmm. of it to be investigated to see whether that um, lump or that thing is cancerous. So you cut it? Yes. Okay, I thought you used a shrine to just pull something <laughs> so from there it. So there are two types. You can either go in with a needle okay. or you just take a, a lump okay. out of it. Yes. Okay. What, what are the major treatments for child cancer in Ghana? So um, in Ghana, there are a variety of treatments. Mm -hmm. um, it could be a combination of um, treatments um, or chemotherapy. Okay. We could have one, two combinations of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Alongside radiotherapy, that's um, rays. Mm -hmm. We use rays to target the cancer cells to treat them, as well as surgery. Mm -hmm. So these three major um, treatments available in the um, two major um, facilities, mm -hmm. yes. 
So in Kolebu Teaching Hospital and, and Comfort and Noche Hospital. But we do have other shared um, centers, okay. shared care centers. Okay. For example, we have about six. Um, Greater Accra Regional Hospital, mm -hmm. Ho Teaching Hospital, mm -hmm. um, Holy Family, mm -hmm. Tamale Teaching Hospital, Agogo, mm -hmm. and others. So when um, you find yourself not being able to reach these two major centers, mm -hmm. the shared centers are then we have well-trained um, nurses and doctors okay. also available at the shared care centers. Wow, yes. that, that's, that's good to know. Um, there are so many myths and misconceptions with regards to cancer. And even you, you, we have in the conversation in the beginning, you stated that we don't really know what is really, really causing these cancer. But then if, if the child hasn't inherited anything from the parents or anything, is it to say that it's, it's sort of like witchcraft, um, the child is scarce, mostly in the rural areas when these things are seen, there are so misconceptions and stuff. Let's talk about the myth and the misconceptions. Is the child suffering from cancer, cursed, or it's from, <laughs> I don't want to use it, anything, but let's say the child curse. Is it from witchcraft? So we do have uh, myths and misconceptions. Mm -hmm. We do get a lot from um, people. So it's, it is not witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It is not contagious. Mm -hmm. We do have stories whereby people um, shun their children from yes. playing with yes. um, children with cancers. Yes. Yes. This is a misconception. It's a myth. Mm -hmm. So that is why um, this month mm -hmm. is set aside to create awareness. Mm -hmm. So it's a collaborative um, campaign. Mm -hmm to create awareness about um, childhood cancers, mm -hmm. as well as the support that we give to the young children okay. living with cancer, cancer. and even yeah. beyond the yeah. cancer, because yeah. we do have survivors. Yeah. So uh, aside, a part of this, um, well, child cancer and other um, stakeholders mm -hmm. have come together, stakeholders like um, Ministry of Health, okay. Ghana Health Service, mm -hmm. um, Roche Pharmaceutical Limited, mm -hmm. Clinton um, Health Access Initiative, mm -hmm. Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Konfanoche, and even the doctors and the nurses working there. Okay. We are stakeholders to create this awareness, awareness. and also yeah. try to educate people mm -hmm. so that they will know that it's not witchcraft or mm -hmm. it's not um, a contagious disease. Mm -hmm. There are cancers. It could happen to anyone. Anyone. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. And, and since you are creating the awareness in the month of September, do you have uh, lined up activities? I know you started with the media tour, creating the awareness. Which other activities are in the pipeline? So, um, aside the media tour, we are having educations like um, what I'm just doing. Mm -hmm. And we are going to churches, Derbes, mm -hmm. to create awareness. And there are also... Um, even among nurses and healthcare mm -hmm. workers, we are going to OPDs and churches to also create awareness. Yeah, awareness yes. day. And let me ask this. Over the years, th this isn't the first September we've had. You've been creating the awareness. What has been the response? What has been the improvement? Are people really getting it? Are people really bringing their children to be diagnosed? Yes. So over the years, mm -hmm. um, we've been having increase in our numbers. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we've observed that any time we create awareness throughout the year, we have a lot of new cases mm -hmm. coming in, mm -hmm. both at our major centers and our shared care centers. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the number has been overwhelming. Yeah. Overwhelming. That's, that's very good. Um, Wendy, uh, before we wrap up, any other thing that we haven't touched on that you want to touch on for us to know? And any other information? If, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, where can they locate you? Yes, so um, before we wrap up, um, I would like to ed um, educate, as, I mean, I would like to tell our parents mm -hmm. about these early warning signs, just as I said, and they should um, keep their eyes open mm -hmm. for these early warning signs. So, um, Kolebu is there, the um, Konfanochi Teaching Hospital mm -hmm. is also there. We mm -hmm. are all available to come in and also talk to us. So, we do have... Um, we do have some um, numbers that we, we do call. Mm -hmm. So um, this number is um, for inquiries. Mm -hmm. You can contact our um, country coordinator, World Child Cancer, mm -hmm. on 020 
one nine two two. Yes. So this is a number to contact us on anytime you need our help. Mm -hmm. And one thing I would like to say is that early detection mm -hmm. saves life. Yeah. We have um there's eighty percent chance of survival mm -hmm. when it comes to childhood cancers. But that is if they are detected early. Early. So yeah. early detection saves saves life. Saves yes. life, yeah. And talking about the de de detection early, in case someone just tuned in, let's go over the signs and the symptoms one more time yes. so that the person will know. Okay. So with the signs, um, S stands for you seek. Mm -hmm. So you seek prompt uh, medical attention. Mm -hmm. When you see any unexplained diagnosis or unexplained fever yeah. for any unexplained thing in a child, mm -hmm. then... I stands for eyes. You said eyes. Yes. It's, so it's when, eye, but it's, it's eyes. It's not an eye, yes. yes. When you see any whitish, white, whitish mm -hmm. spots in the child's eye mm -hmm. or any bulging, the eyeball is bulging out or there's persistent redness in the eye, mm -hmm. it's an indication that it could be cancer. Okay. Also, when there are any swellings or any lumps in any part of the body, mm -hmm. it could be anywhere in the neck, in the stomach, anywhere of the child's body. It should be an indication or it should prompt you mm -hmm. and also unexplained fever okay for more than two weeks mm -hmm. if there are, there's weight pain and waste waste and um, weight lost mm -hmm. if there's pallor the mm -hmm. child is pale unexplained for more than two weeks mm -hmm. unexplained um, bruise and the child is bleeding yeah whereby the child hasn't done any physical activity True. or anything it should be something that should alert you that it could be a sign of cancer mm -hmm. and also when there's aching persistent joint pains mm -hmm. or pains in the bones it could be an indication that it's it may be cancer, cancer. it should be an a wake-up call to a child a mother and also when there is change in their child's walking or speech mm -hmm. it could be an indication, an indication of, a child of that cancer. wendy thank you very much um, for educating us this morning and we wish um, yourself everybody a successful awareness month um, um, any other thing that, uh, or in case you are done and you want to come back, share the experience, we'll be here to listen and um, see what we can do. Okay, thank, thank, you, thank you very, very much. much. Uh, so we're speaking to Wendy Mensah, who is a pediatric oncology nurse at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. And this morning we're talking about child cancer. He, she's given us the statistics, the causes, the signs and symptoms, um, uh, that how it could be diagnosed, and also, most importantly, the available treatments in the various clinic centers, especially Konfanoche and also Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Hospital.